everybody, my name is Mia Rodriguez, otherwise known as Rod VA Productions, and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be just a little tiny bit different. We're still going to be talking about things pertaining to voice acting and the industry, but I figured that we enjoy ourselves a little more. Recently I've been seeing a lot of voice actors, both professional and beginner, that have been voicing their feelings on imposter syndrome and not liking their own voice and a lot of very common um, bad actor thoughts that um, we all get from time to time. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been getting them a lot more recently applying to agencies and such and I'll get into that later. So I thought we could just sit down and talk about it and maybe I'll give you my advice on all these topics. I just went grocery shopping and I want to cook something nice and good to eat. So I'm going to take you guys with me to the kitchen to cook with me and we can sit down, have a meal and hash it all out. Enjoy! Alrighty guys, so that's me making some brown rice and I definitely made way too freaking much, but you'll see that later. Um, so one of my favorite things to eat in the entire world is just a big old bowl of things that I love. Some chicken, some salmon, some vegetables, some beans, some just like everything that just makes you feel good about yourself. Um, and just one huge bowl that you can just gobble up. It, it's so delicious to me. So here's me making this sort of very random vegetable medley. <laughs> there's corn, there's broccoli stalks, there's mushrooms and yellow zucchini? Squash? I don't know. Um, I'm dumb. And <laughs> uh, I season my things properly and y'all better too because i'm not here with the bland stuff um so yeah i love to use soy sauce and freaking everything i feel like it makes everything feel the not feel taste so much better so that's me finishing up there i packed it up in a little container i brought it back upstairs to my room there's the pot full of rice i chopped up a rotisserie chicken i got from the grocery store and I start assembling my bowl. I put some guacamole in there as well and this creamy sriracha sauce I never had before and I think it looks pretty freaking good. Um, it was good. It was very, very good. Alrighty, let's dig in and eat and talk about our feelings. So this week was a roller coaster of emotions, let me tell you. So recently, as I mentioned in the last video, I've been applying to a lot of agencies seeking representation you know how it is and literally yesterday i haven't heard anything back from any agency except for one i was just playing the sims 4 as one does and i hear a little buzz buzz from my phone and i look at it and i see that i got an email i was like ooh, an email maybe i got casted in something Anyways, so I saw that the email came from an agency, I won't say which one it was, and the subject of the email was, thank you for your submission, with exclamation points, and I was like, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening right now, and my heart literally dropped, and I was like, oh, I held my breath, I was like, no way this is happening right now, because it's been a few months since I've been looking for an agent. I say that I say that as if it's like a long time. It's it's really not. So I open my email and I and I like close my eyes before I click on the email, and I just like I'm like, bitch! I swear to God, please, Lord, please. So I open the email, and it was along the lines of a rejection letter for like college. It was like. Thank you so much for your submission, but unfortunately we have way too many people exactly like you and um, we don't want you. So that's that. Bye. Take care. I was never so disappointed <laughs> in my life after reading, reading that email. I don't even know if what I just said made sense because I'm just like not over it yet. And I, I was just so upset. And it was so unusual because usually when an agency doesn't accept you, 
they just don't contact you after you submit so now finally getting an email was like no way like i'm finally represented by someone and that wasn't the case i'm sure a lot of you who are probably watching this understand that it's very very hard to not compare yourself to others especially on social media for me personally i follow a lot of voice actors and actresses gets to the point and i'm sure some of you can relate that it seems like every other day someone's being represented or casted in this huge video game or animation project and you just can't help but feel a little down about it and compare yourself and have imposter syndrome not only outside of the recording booth but inside as well and i feel I'm at the point in my career where I'm starting to really understand how to deal with all that. When it comes to the voiceover industry, there are literally thousands, if not, if not honestly millions of people who are voice acting or doing voiceover, commercial, narration, animation, video game, e-learning, corporate, you, you name it. And with all the jobs in the world, it seems like none of it goes to you. Well, I'm here to tell you right now what you really need to be working on in order to kind of avoid that or maybe just like thinking about. With that not only comes competition but comes a crap ton of support. People who are willing to help you, give you advice and give you tips and tricks on how to get to the point that they're at. This industry is incredibly rapidly changing and it is incredibly abundant and diverse in all different types of talent. One thing I think you just need to be focusing on is what you can do better. Could you take more classes? Could you start saving up for new equipment? Could you work on not making mouth noises or networking or marketing? I feel like those things are a lot more important. Instead of wasting your energy and getting in your head about other people's experiences. Another huge thing well, two huge things I would say, is to not be afraid to play. There are so many beginner voice actors that are so self-conscious about themselves that it heavily impacts and reflects in their work. That is holding you back so much. And don't worry, because I've been there. Learn how to play. And the only way to learn how to play is to learn how to, I don't wanna say love yourself because that is insanely hard, but learn how to like yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I'm kind of a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Because once you at least like yourself, you start liking the way that your voice sounds, the progress that you've made, and it'll, it'll be night and day between when you didn't like yourself and when you did like yourself, <laughs> or at least like the work that you are doing because all of it comes down to when you send off that audition for a director or for a producer or for a writer for an agent what they're really looking for at the end of the day is not only a good talent but a good person someone who won't complain someone who won't take criticism too personally someone who will get along with their cast members someone who isn't so fixated on being the best because in reality no one is everyone is different and i think we all should embrace that and it's gonna take a long time but it's definitely worth it i am not finished my food yet but that's all i really have to say for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one let me know if you have any questions okay um, I, i'm here to help everyone's here to help okay thank you guys again so much bye ah. spoons I saw this on Scooby-Doo once. I heard if you bend them, it then hold them super loose. They'll point in the direction of supernatural frequencies.